Now, if you're someone who's constantly rushing the downswing, hitting terrible golf shots, this is the video for you, because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to be able to never do that again. So, we are going to get into a feel and a very good drill here that is going to make you have the smoothest, most in-time start to the downswing, so you can hit better shots. So all you need to do to never rush that downswing again is to have your arms be much more patient starting that downswing because we want to have those arms nice, loose and relaxed to get this properly. Because what I see players constantly do that rush that downswing is they'll have their arms travel far too quickly in transition. You will see if you just slow down your swing and you look at it and you see, okay, what's the first thing that's moving in the downswing here? For a lot of you, it is your arms. So then your arms are always winning the race. So you'll suffer with very weak shots. Your body won't really be able to do too much to generate some power. Your path control will be terrible. Your strike will be terrible because we need to use our body to be able to lead and win that race and our arms ideally just come along for the ride. So let's get into how we can work on that. So here we go. I'm going to give you two drills and I'm going to give you a feel for the golf course also to be able to do this. So first drill, what we're doing, we're doing a pause at the top drill. So we get up to the top of our backswing, we stop. And then what we do, we really feel like these arms are really light and loose. Really feel like your grip pressure is around a three out of 10 in intensity. And then we make sure we turn that body, make sure that body, lower body mid torso turning is leading that downswing. Really let the arms be nice, relaxed, and ultimately patient. So stop at the top, pause for about a second or two, and then turn through. That's gonna give you a much better in sequence downswing. Because why are we doing this? Because we want the body, like we said, to be able to lead the shot. That's the way our body can control the movement of the club really nicely. We'll be able to generate more power, more accuracy via better rotation. All the good stuff we want. We want to use the body we want the arms to go along for the ride, like we said. So stop at the top, pause, light and loose arms, turn through. So there we go. So really good drill. This is a drill that Tiger Woods did back in his dominant years. So it's a very, very good drill to do. So now that drill is extremely difficult to do if you're really struggling with rushing that downswing. So be patient with it. You will get better at it, but you will hit the ball. Not how you want to when you start off, but that's a sign. If a drill's hard to do when you start off doing it, that means you've got to do it more. So, okay, this is the second drill. Now, this is much easier because you don't even need a golf ball doing this one. So what we do, we get up to the top of our backswing, grip it with our left hand, so our lead arm here. Now, all we do, we grab and put the butt end of the club in the palm of our right hand here. Now, what we want to do, we want to turn in the downswing of our body, let those hips clear, lower body mid torso going, but we really want to feel like we're putting no pressure into our right hand with the butt ends of the club at all. So this is going to teach the arms to be a little bit more relaxed at the top. If we're going to have more relaxed arms, the arms are going to be more patient. And that's, again, the key to stop rushing that downswing. So get up to the top, hand on the butt end of the club, no pressure into that hand, almost feeling like it's leading up there as you're turning. So you can just see, I'm just putting in some repetitions here just for that first little piece. Look at that club shallowing like anything. It's gonna help you shallow. So this whole video is really gonna help you shallow the golf club also. So brilliant one to go and have a good go at. You can do that indoors. So weather doesn't have to be great. You can go and practice that and have a better sequence downswing. Now, the feel for the golf course. This is really cool here. Because even though we've been saying the whole time, patient arms, feel the arms be nice, loose and relaxed. Really feel like you're not doing much with them at all. This feel for the golf course, you actually are trying to do something with the arms. Because if you're a player who really massively struggles with this big arm movement, rushing that downswing, you need something a little bit opposite. So, okay, when we're rushing that downswing, the arms are obviously going down towards the golf ball. They're going towards the target in the downswing, moving in the downswing. Let's get the arms going the other way. So as soon as we start that downswing, let's feel the arms actually feel like they're going more back as we're going and starting down. You're not gonna develop an overswing by any means by this, because you're starting that downswing, you feel like the arms are still going in this direction backwards. You can see how that's gonna give you time, because you're actually trying to push the hands back. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it works really, really well for this problem. To so feel like the hands are pushing, the arms are pushing the club back as you're starting the downswing. So I'm trying to get that change in direction with the body, but I'm making sure I'm feeling the arms being pushed back in the other direction, more down towards the target in a backswing sense. So here we go. I'm going to try and push it back. You can see I'm not going to have an overswing at all. 
but it's going to be a very good unrushed downswing. So that's a really cool feel to go and have a little play around with, especially going out in the driving range. Do a few of those, film your swing of course, you're gonna see a lot better of a downswing. So, good few drills to do. You can do this in a little routine, absolutely. But other than that, if you go and practice this, you will have a much better unrushed downswing. Patient arms is the key. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. So, make sure you do this, and you'll have a better downswing.